I picked this subject because I believe Josh had a more unique story than a lot of other sol soldiers in war had. Um, one of the main things that struck out to me is the way he talked about post-traumatic stress disorder. He saw it as a cop-out. He didn't really see it as, and he sees it as an excuse. Um, he says, you know, it's just like if you go get drunk or, you dr or you're drinking and you do something bad, but that's still, that's not okay. And he says a lot of soldiers who have post-traumatic stress, that's what they do. They use it as an excuse. They'll have a bad day. And um, Josh says you need to, that's something you need to get over. Um, and with his family and with his family's help and his therapy, he was able to overcome that. And I thought that was really interesting. I learned storytelling from this documentary, mainly with the interviews. I had to be really careful with how I asked some of the questions because I didn't want to upset Josh or um, bring him back to something that he didn't want to remember. I had to keep it very cool, calm, and collected pretty much the whole time. One of the biggest challenges I faced in producing this documentary was kind of being on the same schedule as the family. They have their daily lives, um, and I'm pretty much just following them around with a camera just trying to show others what what they go through and in their daily life. And also to reiterate with asking the questions, I didn't want to upset Josh or, br Josh or bring him back to a bad memory that he didn't want to remember. Um, and just to be careful with his post-traumatic stress and also not asking any of the wrong questions.